Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game video for you today. This is Big Buck Hunter 2 Sportsman's Paradise. Now, if you've been watching all of our videos, you know that we've done probably 10 different hunting games now, but we've never got this one in, so we figured we would film a little video. This is actually in the original dedicated cabinet too, so we'll look at that a little bit. Um, we got this in with a, we bought a whole storage building full of games and this was one of the ones in there. We fixed it up a little bit, got it up and running, and now we're playing it, testing it, and selling it. But the original Big Buck Hunter um, had a slightly different cabinet. There was a dedicated cabinet, but it was also a kit, so you could put it in other cabinets. Um, and then after Big Buck Hunter, they came out with an update in 2002. It's going to keep talking. He came out with an update in 2002 called uh, Shooter's Challenge. So Big Buck Hunter Shooter's Challenge was the second one. And then they came out with this one, Big Buck Hunter 2, which was actually the third one. Don't ask me. That's just how they did it. I guess it was because this one's in a different cabinet and the other one was a uh, just a CD update of the original board. Um, but they designed this super cool cabinet for it. And the main thing is that it incorporates an LED screen, uh, sign up at the top where it would serve stats and stuff for um, the tournaments and things. You could play it online. So um, we'll show that here in a minute. But for a hunting game, if you've got the screen completely, you know, facing forward, that's best. Because it's not as, you know, you don't have to shoot at something that's at an angle. That was good shooting. Could have swore I turned off the attract sounds <laughs> here's the artwork now that's about as fine as it gets top hunters these cabinets were upgradable later they would uh whenever like call of the wild came out you could buy a kit to put it into this cabinet that's the original orange t molding to match the orange gun it had a little express player ID card, card reader. Standard coin door everybody was using at the time. The long pump action shotgun. And so it says, each state tour includes five stands and one bonus round. Shoot up to three bucks per stand. Don't shoot the doe. Shooting the doe ends the stand. So I believe the original Big Buck Hunter, the first one, you could only shoot one deer per um, screen, I believe. On the Shooter's Challenge, if you look at the flyer, it, it is bragging about how you can now shoot three per screen. This has a big old uh, Wells Garner D9200 monitor in it with a nice picture, big old 27 inch monitor. Triple buck bonus, shoot up to three bucks per sight and that is new. It's a good looking cabinet for what it is. A lot of people are like, oh God, these hunting games, but man, there's a lot of people that love these things. They still sell pretty good. Copyright 2002, Incredible Technologies, Inc. Portions, Copyright 2002, Play Mechanics, Inc. All rights reserved. And so this is actually an LED sign behind the thing. It's not on right now because all it does uh, if the game is offline is tell you that the game's offline. And the last time that it was updated, which is kind of useless information. But whenever it was registered to a location, it would say, uh, Welcome to Sue's Grill. And it would say, uh, you know, who the, it would say who the leaders were on the leaderboard, the national leaderboards and stuff for, for points and um, stuff like that. So it's the same thing that IT was doing with their golden tea stuff. So pretty straightforward. It's a lot like, you know, any other golden tea, I mean, a big buck hunter game that you've played. You can't change one version to another version by updating it or anything. You have to buy a completely different board set. But the way it used to work was, since they were connected to the internet, you would go into the location and uh, let's say 
well this cabinet wouldn't have been well let's just say this cabinet is this big buck hunter two sportsman's paradise so you would go in and you wanted to update it to uh call of the wild which was the one that came out in 2006 there would be a box with a cd and uh, you would attach a cd player to the board inside uh and there was a couple i think one chip that you changed that was like a security chip and then whenever you put the cd in it would start loading the software you'd have to have an external cd player too that plugged into the board but it, it would start loading the software onto the hard drive that's connected to the board erasing the software for the uh, sportsman's paradise setup and then it would call into incredible technologies and it would get a code um, to you know it encrypts it somehow on the board to where that upgrade kit was only good for one uh, board and it would call in and register it somehow with incredible technologies so if you if you weren't able to call in to incredible technologies you couldn't upgrade it so all of these machines no longer have the ability to call in they've changed all of the numbers and how everything works so basically if you got one you're stuck with it but you can change it from big buck hunter 2 to call of the wild by just changing the board and the hard drive inside um, with a call of the wild board and hard drive also if you have several like if you have a board and a hard drive for every year that this came out you could play all of them in the same game but you just have to swap the boards over and over again you can also replace the hard drive with the little compact flash because they don't have moving parts so it's a little more reliable um, so that's where we are with incredible technology stuff the same exact things going on with golden tee boards the Golden T4 series has the same the same issue where you can't upgrade them anymore. So you basically have to use what's already out there. So the last one was uh, Golden T Complete was the last four game. Uh, and before that was Golden T 2005, 2004, 2003, 2002. And then the original one uh, was just called Golden T4. Okay, so I'll set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit. All right, we're going to play it. The little white line you're seeing going through the screen is not the screen. That is the camera trying to film a screen. <laughs> to my human eyes, standing here watching it, you cannot see a white line rolling through the screen. That's because the screen refreshes at one rate and the camera refreshes at another rate. And those two create a pattern on the screen that filters right through. Let's see if I can time it. You can't see that in person. Okay. It's turned up a little bit, which is good. And we don't do video capture here, people. We like point a camera at the monitor, which means you can see the gun because I'm holding it in my hand. <laughs> Welcome to Beard Buck Hunter. It's hunting season. It's hunting season. Now, if it was online, there ain't back, no such thing as a bad day to hunt. Back in the day when it was online, you could pick the Big Buck Hunt Club or the tournament. You'd pay extra money. Let's do the region. Let's go hunting. Let's go hunting. Choose a region. We're going to do the south. The south. I mean, I don't know why. There's That's just some fine hunting. Just something about the south. Alright, here we go. Y'all ready? There's one. That's a double. What's up? By the way, I'm more accurate if I turn it sideways like a gat. That was a dead eye shot. Look at that. Look at this one. I killed him with the hair. Guess I'm pretty great. I'll stand over here a little bit so you can see the gun. Then you'll feel like you're getting the, the complete arcade experience. Go for the big one. Okay, I will. Oh. Damn! 
damn it! No. <laughs> I thought I saw little horns. I thought they were sticking up like this. Where are you going to hunt? Oh, come on. Oh, you see that? Got a dough tag. The dough ran block. Now that's about as fine as it gets. Hope you got a big freezer. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Look at that. Dead on the money. Now, if, if you've watched me play this before, you know I have a penchant to accidentally shoot them in the genitals sometimes. I haven't done that yet, though. Great shot. There'll be another one. Oh. That's a big That one is faster than a speeding bullet. Woo! Sweet shot. This game isn't even accurate. I mean, I don't even have a flashlight to hunt with. But this is nothing like real hunting. <laughs> Get the spot. Look at that. They do it on purpose. That wasn't an accident. I ever seen. You gonna be venison tonight. That's what I call shooting. That's shooting. That's what I call shooting. And the barrel of my gun is at least a foot from the screen. Quail hunt bonus. Quail hunt bonus. Yeehaw! I'm not concerned about accuracy, people. I'm concerned about picking up some quails. Damn quails. <laughs> oh, they're doing the formation. Very smart. Really? Good shooting. This is just like Galaga, if you think about it. Georgia. Okay, is there anything different on this than the previous games? I guess maybe that you can get three bucks. Go for the big fella. You got it. You got it. Okay, you got away. Nice shot. Hmm. Nice I can't ever get the ones in the oh, back. Buddy, that was a great shot. And I don't see the importance of accuracy. Why not just shoot ten times? Now, if it was a real deer, you might not want to do that because you might just wound it and not kill it. That would be bad. But on a video game, I don't see the importance of accuracy. I completely destroyed that tree, though. You gonna make some venison tonight? That's what I call shooting. Where's the hunt? You got it. Get ready. Here we go. I knew that was one of them. Well, that one there is probably one. Nope. Great shot. Hmm. Man, oh man. I want to get that back one at least once. Oh, that was a dead eye shot. Getting closer to the genitals.
We'll get to one in the back finally. Here he goes. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> what is, that's a nice looking buck. Great shot. 14 point. I think that's good. See, I hide the big one in the back. I shot him four times. <laughs> this is a big fella. All along the soft underbelly. fair with these fake deer. Long yard, Long yard bonus. bonus. Get ready. They need a real redneck to design this game. That wasn't a redneck sport there, but, you know. Now the shooting the deer part is pretty redneck, but shooting the, the, the little targets in the log yard, that's not redneck. That's... <laughs> I thought it had little horns. It had little nubs, I thought. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get serious now. You know what? You know what? I've been approaching this wrong. That's a dynamite buck. I'm trying to kill these things, but what I need to do is be more like, um, Shot. what's the guy from the Matrix? <laughs> what's his name? Is it Nemo? Nero? Nemo? What's his name? Man, that's going to drive me crazy now. I need to just see the Matrix and shoot in the direction that I see. I'm gonna try that this time. Here we go. There's another. And that's three. Matrix now, people. That's fine, shooter. I have transcended. That's what I call shooter. What's his name? Shot. <laughs> What's his name? I know it's Keanu Reeves, but what was his name in the movie? Yeah. Here's how you figure out when you can't remember a name. Does it start with an A? No. Does it start with a B? No. C? Where are you no. Where are you D. No. E. No. Great shot. There's a double. Is it an E? Does it start with an E? No. F. Great G. Shot. H. I. Great J. K. 
K for Keanu. K L M N. That seems right. It's an M or an N, right? O P Q. I'm thinking Nero. That, that can't be Nero. This is the same one from earlier. You got it. You deep ball. You gonna be some medicine tonight? That was a dead eye shot. Neo, that's his name. You got it. <laughs> I knew that. Damn it. He ain't got a license for that. Neo would have never done that. my mojo where are you gonna hunt and I was seeing it it all looked like a wireframe thing damn it oh no oh no oh no Relax here. Damn it! <laughs> I was just guessing that that was one of the ones with the antlers. Frog hopping bonus. Frog hopping bonus. This is messed up. Look, I'm all about killing some deer, but I ain't gonna kill no damn frog. But still, a Neo's got to do what a Neo's got to do. Damn it. Oh, oh no. It's like a plague. Bunch of them little suckers. I'm hitting the wrong button. All right, folks, so there's what you get. That is Big Buck Hunter 2, Sportsman's Paradise. The whole thing about this game is you don't see it that often. You see a lot of the Big Buck Hunter, the original one, because the operators would buy it, and the things just kept earning, so they didn't really see a reason to update it. That was good. You know, 
it did all right, but it wasn't knocking the, the it wasn't setting the world on fire. So there was, they didn't see a reason to pay for the update. So you would have had to pay for the update to get this one or not buy any of the original ones and then buy this one when it came out. So you got the dedicated cabinet, which, you know, and then if you bought this one, it's already part two. Well, why not make it the, the new one when it came out or the third one or the fourth one, you know? So the original one just says Big Buck Hunter. If you've got that, might, you might not think there's any reason to update it. But if you've got the one that says two, I don't know. That's my only, you know, I'm just guessing, but that's my only thought of why you don't see them as much. But we've, we've, we buy these for years. This is the first one we've ever had that was Sportsman's Paradise. So it is what it is, but just like all of them, all of the IT games, it's fun. I have never played an IT game that was not fun. Golden Tee, all the Golden Tees are fun, even the really old ones. Have you ever, have we done any videos of the early, early Golden Tee stuff? I think we did like 97, but there were ones even before that. We may have done Golden Tee 97 and Golden Tee 99, something like that, but uh, even those early Golden Tee games are, are really fun. The graphics aren't as good. And it doesn't, it can't move in like 3D. Um, you, you, if you turn, like the whole screen goes off and it comes back at a different angle. Um, but fantastic games. And then they did the Big Buck Hunter stuff. Well, they're all kind of the same game, so they're all fun. But I, I just had a good time playing this. And then uh, they did the Silver Strike stuff. Well, all of the Silver Strike games are fun. They did bags, and they did uh, Big Buck Hunter. Target Toss, which I think is kind of the same thing. I've never had either one of those. Uh, Go to lionsarcade.com to check them out. That was good shooting. Mark Macy was the man, apparently. I'm happy nobody put anything filthy in the uh, about as fine as it gets. in the name so far. Top hunters. Top hunters. I don't see anything inappropriate, and they're letting you put full names in. So I mean, talking about restraint. So yeah, you can check out what we've got on our website, Lions Arcade, or you can come by and see us if you're if you're nearby. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a whole building full of games like this at all times that we're fixing, selling. We got all kinds of stuff. But you can see what we've got on our webpage. Now, if you're not local, so you can't come by and you don't want to buy one, so you're not going to go to our web page lest we tempt you, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube. And we film videos like this a couple times a week. And so you'll be able to see all kinds of cool stuff as we up upload it. So leave your comments below. We especially like hearing if people used to play this. Good shoot. Like if you used to play this at a bar somewhere and it's long gone, but those were good times for you, leave your information below. We like hearing about that's that. That's about as fine as it gets. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. <laughs> Yay! Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. And we will see you on the next video. Have a good evening.